Hello everyone, I'm Jung Chul, the professor at the Computer Science of ITC and IRPP in Cambodia. Today I will show you how to set up mail server using SendMail. Okay, this video ha will have the two parts. Part 1 has four steps, email service, essential email operation, package installation startup, and send mail configuration. In part 2, I will explain about inbound sendmail aliases, sendmail.cf, sendmail operation, and IMAP and Popsit on dove code, and MUA configuration. Okay, in my case, now, right now, I have the, this kind of the mail server testing environment. server.child.com, IP address 192.160, 8025. This one will be sendmail, the mail server, and the later for the MUA testing, this one, will use the evolution and the client system clientchall.com 192.168010 this one will be the linux mail client in this client i will install the thunderbird for mua program also i have the windows 7 192.168081 this one will be just the windows mail client and in Windows, I will test how to set up Outlook 2010 for MUA. Step 1, email service. Before you start the configuration of the mail server, you have to know or understand the terms of email service. First, here, normally we use the term MUA. MUA means the mail user agent. Normally, we call it just a client program to compose and read email, such as Outlook Express, Evolution, Thunderbird, or Mute. MTA, Mail Transfer Agent, we call this one SMTP server to relay or accept email for delivery. For example, Postfix, Sendmail, Axim, Qmail, on the exchange server on Microsoft. Number three, mail delivery agent. We call this one MDA. This is a program used by MTA to deliver email to the message store. And this one included with the MTA or separate program. For example, like a front mail. Normally the MDA deliver email from MTA to user's home directory. Number four, mail access agent. This one normally we call this one. Uh, this uh, MAA can be used to uh, access the mail stores from mail server. So normally for M and MAA we used IMAP or POP3 protocols. And the two support this kind of protocol here I will explain double code. Okay, this is the uh, email operations. So MUA user will use this program to send and receive the email, and then MUA with the MUA send email to MTA through the SMTP protocol. MTA at first will check the DNS to find the destination mail server. If the MTA is successful to find the, the destination MTA then will deliver this email to destination MTA. And the MT, if MTA, like a SMTP server, receive the email, then MTA will try to save this email to the user's home directory. In this case, normally MDA operate to deliver this kind of the email to user's uh, mail directory. MAA, like a double call, access to user's mail directory. For example, slash VAR, spool, mail, and username. Access to this directory and bring the mail to the users, like MUA. So, MUA normally use IMAP and POPs to access users the mail directory for the mail server. This is uh, the default or essential email operation. In this video, I will explain about the MUA and the MTA and MAA. Okay, first, installation and the startup. 
In this video, I will uh, show you how to set up the main server using SendMail. So for the package installation, you need this kind of port packages. After installation, you need to start like this service, SendMail start. And after that, you need to check ls minus l it is made normally the send may save all configuration file to this directory and after that you need to check the process and port number normally the send may use port number 25 and if you need to register this send mail to run the bell you can use chk config like this and if you think you are installation looks successful then you can test like this number five telnet localhost 25 the port number 25 and then you can test like this mail minus b minus s title this is a title and the linux at China, this will be the receiver's email address and the it is passive in this case you it is passive will be the content to send this user okay then test i'm sorry okay here uh, okay first to check the package like this okay in my case i don't have send mail send mail uh, cf send mail doc send mail development okay yes Okay, now I'm successful. Okay, let's check packages. Send mail. Okay, then the start service. Send mail start. Okay, then now check the directory. So here you can find this kind of files. Okay, later we will configure this one. Okay, then uh, process checking, send mail. Okay, here you can find accepting and queue like this. And that uh, port number 25. Okay, here you can find 25. Okay. Then the check the send mail on. Okay, sorry, CHK config send mail on. CHK config list send mail. So in my case now, the level 2, 3, 4, 5 is activated. So I will change level. Two four send mail off. So now only the level three and five is activated. So now test telnet local host twenty four number twenty five. So here you can find like this. So for example, if you use help, you can find some the command to use here. For example, hello localhost then you, this is the host name will reply like this okay successful so here and uh, let's test like this uh, will be testing um, testing send mail Okay, in my case, right now I sent email to the my account on Gmail like this, or 
you can test like this for example home okay mail uh, testing email in my case uh, username okay linux uh, okay server server.com or here this is a testing email from from root to linux finish then that okay here let's check login linux okay here you can find this email like this read one so here you can find like this from root and linux user like this and uh, how about spam in my case this is my gmail so here you can find this kind of the content it is a password and here the sender root server that this is my host name so now i'm successful to send start the mail server and send email also okay so your step four send mail configuration so normally the send mail configuration you can find in this directory etc slash mail so here you can find two files send mail mc and send mail cf normally before configuration of the main file etc mail send mail cf normally we, you need to configure this file because it is a mail send mail cf this is even if this one the main configuration file but so difficult to configure so normally we first configure this file and have that we use m4 to convert like this it is email send email mc this m4 will convert this file to etc email send email cf like this if you open etc email send email mc normally you need to put dnl in at the start of the line dnl means it's a comment later we, i will show you and if you configure something on sendmail mc or sendmail cf you will use this command service sendmail start or restart it, this command mean convert it is mail sendmail mc into sendmail cf okay number three incoming sendmail configuration first in the sendmail mc file you can find this line daemon options port smtp addr127.0.0.1 it means only send mail will permit the incoming only from the local host in this case from the another host you cannot send email to this mail server so in this case you need to comment using dnl like this and second file etc mail local host named so here you have to put the domain this domain means for which we can this mail server accept local delivery so for example in my case i put here my main domain chol.com so here i put mail.chol.com chol.com as a virtual domain i will use jong.net so if i put this kind of domain in this file the mail server will accept the email for this kind of domain and number four ongoing send mail configuration also here it is slash mail slash send mail mc here you have to put dnl like this and the next file etc slash email access so here you can uh, use a kind of access control for the mail server for example in my case i put like this 192.168.80 this is one will be my network address to use mail server 
and uh, one two seven dot zero dot zero one with the local host here the relay and in my case connect char dot this is my the main domain so I will permit a relay but some the domain name like a spam dot net sometimes you need to uh, the uh, deny or the reject this kind of domain. In this case, you can use write this reject or to root at junk.com. In this case, if uh, someone try to send email to this account, then you can show error 550 bad name like this or the originator resender like uh, spam at example.com. This the account to try to send email to your server then you can reject like this number five the must creating etc mail send mail mc like this so in this case expose users maybe in this case the root also can be exposed as a uh, user to use uh, or to send the email here and uh, masquerade as the child.com and the masquerade envelope entire domain and the masquerade domain child.com it means in my case uh, in this video i will use two domain child.com and jung.net even if i use two domain but if i use masquerade like this in this case the all mail in the destination only they will see the domain chal.com not jung.net. This is a masquerading. It means just a fake, a kind of the fake email address. So later I will show you. After you change uh, some the contents or line in the send mail MC or send mail CF, then you need to use this command service send mail restart. Okay, then let's just start the configuration. First, etc mail. Okay, here uh, you need to configure. So here, okay, send mail MC. Okay, here I first check. So, okay, line number 116 here. Okay, before I use this one, let's test. For example, here, pellet local, sorry, uh, local host number 25. In this case, no problem to access the mail server in the local host, but here in the client system, here telnet in my case server port number 25 so in this case cannot access so here i will put comment like this d d and l like this and after that service oh no no so m4 send my mc to send mail cf okay, and after that service send mail restart okay now test again this is a client system so now no problem to access like this here help if you hello server then server will reply to you like this so it's uh, successful to access okay and after that uh, number two uh, incoming send mail configuration so i already configured send mail mc and now here okay try to use local host names so here in my case, I will put uh, my main domain chchol.com and mail chol.com 
and the virtual domain jong dot net mail jong dot net. So this uh, mail will receive this kind of email like this. Okay, service and uh, mail restart. Okay, there. Let's try test. Okay, in my case, so home. Okay, mail title will be uh, incoming test. Username will be okay test, and uh, domain will be char.com. This is uh, testing mail from root to test. And then dot cc. Okay, then let's try to log in test mail. So here you can find incoming test. Okay, then so here user receiver like this test at sol.com. Okay, one more testing. Uh, mail minus v minus s incoming test. One more user Linux and uh, this one jong.net. This is uh, incoming test for Linux from root like this. Okay. Okay. Then try to the Linux user. Okay. Uh, Linux mail. Can you find like this? Okay. Read number one. So here receiver the so Linux junk.net and the sender root like this. So you are success I'm successful to configure incoming send mail. Now let's try to uh, use uh, outgoing outgoing access. Okay, here. Okay, then in my case I will put here 192 168 80 relay and uh, another domain connect uh, char.com and mail char.com connect john.net And mail John Dunne. For the testing, um, to root, um, can I say, okay, char.com, uh, error. R R O R and after that five five zero bad bad name like this. Okay, let's test to this one. Okay, and after that service send the mail restart. Then access file this one will make this database. So here. Let's try to read access db like this. Oh, I'm sorry, access db. So here you can find char and the jong and char and the char and my net address. So the test. Uh, okay, here. Let's test like this. 
telnet localhost 25 mail from uh, linux charter.com and uh, icpt2 root charter.com uh, so here you can find 550 and bad net so in this case root at charter.com cannot receive the email okay and after that number five must create okay here send them cf oh no 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 sorry send them mc okay here let's try to uh the uh, line numbers 160 here just delete like this and after that okay and this one okay then let's, let's check here my domain.com will be char and let's uh, create envelope same as create entire domain localhost and here char.com uh, here just I uh, will use DNL okay and after that uh, let's create exposed exposed or machine exposed root okay okay here 133 so here already is uh, configured and after that m4 send my mc send my cf and after that send my restart okay then the the masquerading masquerading will be applied to the mail server for the testing of the masquerading i will show you in the step the nine to test mua so here i will finish step one and then the step two uh, i will explain the from the uh, uh, part two uh, step five Thank you for uh, watching for this video and uh, see you again in part 2.